all right everybody i hope y'all enjoyed the uh build of this car from basically that over there to what we see now um that's the original frame out of the car unfortunately it was destroyed from misuse of years of abuse so just wanted to do a walk around video of the car running um just uh you know before you drive a long way to to see it or possibly get this car for yourself it is for sale i'm gonna be asking forty thousand. um it is a one of 38 23 made in 1970 uh, car runs very well uh, ice cold air um, brand new tires wheel antique wheels made in the USA wheels those are not the Chinese wheels um, of course a one off uh, correct for 1970 pattern uh, red interior um, original sport wheel not a repro original console original dash pad original dash all this stuff even the gauge cluster all oem stuff uh just rebuilt and refurbished uh factory replacement floor mats um again like i said everything brand new dropping a little rain now um car is still a little dirty from the trip i did wash it yesterday uh dual speakers all around um dual exhaust uh new gas tank um check the rear end uh shock protector plate still in place as they should be uh the air ride system is just for looks it does not work Cut the car off now. We're gonna go inside the trunk for a bit. And you can see, uh, have the stickers here on the trunk. I'm not gonna move all this stuff. I mean, pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, trunk's been totally redone, uh, splattered, new mat. Uh, the, uh, that's my stuff there. Here's the, uh, pictures i had done up of the car what it looked like you can see this in a lot of my other videos um that's what we started with you know a picture from the some pictures from the restoration like i said i'm not going through all of these but i've got plenty of videos to show um you know wheels and tires are a personal taste uh, i would consider selling the car without the wheels and tires uh this here is a, a matching spare and a matching uh, wheel. So I've got a, the car has a matching set of five that go. This is the exact same size that's on the car. Um, the bumpers are reproduction new. These are GM NOS. These are new. This is new. These are GM NOS. These are trim parts made in USA. These are original, just clear coated lenses. All the stainless is OEM polished drip rails new door handles oe uh wide belt moldings repro mirrors all the stainless is new i mean i'm sorry all the stainless is original just refurbished wheel wells gm nos 10 piece at the bottom reproduction um repro headlight bezels which are actually very nice i was impressed original grill just detailed uh rechrome guards repro bumper el camino lenses again that's a personal taste of mine i actually have a set of clear ones if you prefer them they will go with it uh on the trip to the eastern meet i had a carburetor issue so the car has a brand new elderbrock carb which i have uh somewhat uh already tuned and everything seems to be fine the engine compartment could use a little more cleaning under here i just got back off a 1300 mile trip and yes we did through run through the rain um, four core radiator the correct uh, top plate for a big block the uh, correct you probably can't see it but big block steering shaft um, that green belt is not to be cute 
it's the only belt that vintage air recommends for their air conditioning system this is a cover for the battery this is a plastic wheel wells from the parts place uh hood insulation of which i have another one on the way had had a pulley issue uh warp pulley broke and belt flew off tore that so i have that coming to replace it but it's going to do somewhat of a walk around here uh paint and body on this car is absolutely gorgeous sorry about the cap i lost that on the way to pennsylvania i'll have another one of those for you here shortly again still some dirt on here from the trip didn't get to do a good job of washing it yesterday in the without the sun out so anyway i mean i feel like this is a pretty honest car um trying to show you you know uh again i mean there's crap on the frame we run through rain and stuff i mean the car's a driver that's not a car you're gonna put mirrors up under i don't build my cars that way um it's just not my cup of tea i prefer a driver um this is a car if you're into the car show thing that you could probably go win many trophies with um paint job is i'm gonna say a nine out of ten i'll never call my work a ten out of ten but it is very nice um so anyway it's got all new glass door glasses uh front and rear glass is all new again vintage air um as we take a look inside here you just have to shorten the glove box for the vintage air um all this works got a radio bluetooth built into this radio a look-alike am fm with uh all these are original i don't like aftermarket crap so these are actually the original knob or a set of original knobs they're not the best but they're original that's what i like so uh gauges uh have oil pressure gauge volt gauge and a, a mechanical water gauge this car has an optional tack and gauge package again everything's been rebuilt and works as it should i thought it'd be cool to have a clock delete so i told larry Edie, do me a cluster rebuilt cluster with a clock delete uh, this car came with a 5500 cluster but it was in somewhat rough shape so it was easier just to get a whole nother one uh temperature gauge mechanical is hooked up and it works um this is the one i really trust uh this gauge always runs about 20 degrees warmer than this one because this is in the intake where it should be that the factory gauge is in the block so um power disc brakes of course uh, power steering uh no power options on this car um this is a um again like i said the uh, original uh 6970 an actual original red uh sport wheel uh it has been dyed as this dash and all to try to match uh floor shift tilt column horn button is off a of 67 corvette again that's a personal touch that uh, if you prefer the correct horn button i'll be happy to let you have it and i'll keep that one for myself car's got all new rubber uh i think the chrome on these door panels adds a nice touch uh these are uh, aftermarket door panels but um the seats have been it's got all new seat belts and the seats have uh been wrapped the bottoms and the backs with vinyl this is not paint this is vinyl the correct uh trim on the seats again i drive this car i have my jacket back here but uh anyway uh very good job this guy done on these seats i was very impressed so i think that's about all um dash is in excellent condition no cracks again it is an original pad believe it or not 
uh, air ride system is on the car I can't think of anything else but if you're viewing this car um, to think about buying it all I can tell you is um, it is uh, a great car and you know I hate to get rid of it but you know I've got to move on so Pack works as it should. I do not have the amp gauge hooked up and I will not be hooking that up. They actually make a voltmeter replacement for this that I meant to get, but in all the rigmarole of getting ready to go to Carlisle and getting the car done, I forgot. Uh, I will not be replacing that at this point. It's gonna stay the way it is. So anyway, if you're looking for a Monte Carlo um, in this price range, I know that's a lot of money for a lot of people. Um, this is a cell phone charger. I keep it uh, disconnected uh, while I'm not needing it because uh, it will run your battery down. It's got a LED light that doesn't indicate it's on and it will run the battery down. Again, this is the AC. You can hear it. I mean, it's, you can't see it blowing, but it's, it's blowing hard. So uh, all this works as it should. Um, e brake. Uh, hooked up so anyway thanks for watching and uh like share comment make sure you subscribe to my channel you can go back and you can view all the videos of this car as it was being built um from october to just this month uh or june um like i said i feel like the car is pretty honest it's uh this car was not thrown together um Monte Carlos is what I do, and this is just some of the fruits of what I've been able to accomplish with working on these cars. So, with that being said, uh, asking price, uh, 40000 or best offer. It is slightly negotiable. Again, I will sell the car without the wheels and tires if you can't. I love rally wheels. If you can't stand rally wheels, then I'll save you a little cash and, and keep the rallies and put them on something myself. So more and more than likely though you know you're going to want you're probably going to want the wheels and tires but i just figured i'd throw that out there if you've got a set of five spoke you know mags that you just got to have and you'd rather have them that's fine I'll, I'll keep the rallies and put them on put them on my next car that i buy so anyway uh thanks for watching and uh if you have any more questions let me know i'll be directing people um that's interested in this car to view this video and I think I've pretty much described it, uh, what all needs to be described. If you have any questions, if you see any concerns, if you have any concerns, let me know. And we'll go from there. See y'all next time.